It's very rare in modern day to see a game release and do well and actually appease to all of the community rather than just a very, very small minority. And to have games that release that don't necessarily just go and grab for your wallet straight away and actually allow you to play the game, enjoy the gameplay, enjoy the story and enjoy playing with your friends. Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 was one of those games that allowed you to just enjoy it. No egregious battle pass, there was no huge store with loads of bundles costing you a small mortgage to purchase. There was just a campaign, a multiplayer and some side PvE missions you could go on and play and just have a good time with. However, in today's video, I wanted to talk about the future of Space Marine 2, DLC, and potentially even Space Marine 3. IGN put out an article talking with one of the developers on Space Marine 2, saying that there are ideas for a Space Marine 3 and for potential DLC coming later on with Space Marine 2, story-wise. So, however, that's going to be released, whether that will come with the season pass, and then that's where the game will start to show its true colours to make money or not. We'll have to wait and see. But in this video, guys, we're going to go through it, talk about everything we know so far around this article, the future of Space Marine 2 and what we should really expect, Space Marine 3 as well, if that's even a thing or if it's concepted yet, and what the plan is going forward. But thank you very much for the support of the Space Marine 2 videos. They've all done very, very well. If you haven't seen them, go check out the videos on the channel, going to the story, the ending explained, and a couple of other key characters within that as well. And we've, of course, got loads of shorts that have been uploaded onto the channel as well to go through them in short sections so whatever you guys want to see all of your space marine lore will be here on the channel to go check it out to your heart's content but if you do enjoy leave a like very much appreciated subscribe if you guys are brand new as well for plenty more content like this one and without further ado let's dive straight in Okay, so of course the link to this article will be down below in the description so you can rather follow along on your own or you can look at the screen here and just see it down below. But starting off with the first piece of this article saying that Space Marine 2 changes everything for Saber Interactive. Speaking exclusively to IGN as a part of a sweeping post-launch interview, just over a week or two after Space Marine 2's record-breaking launch, Saber Interactive Chief Creator Officer Tim Willits said that the success of this game would even positively impact its future projects. Whilst neither Saber or Focus Entertainment have announced any sales figures for Space Marine 2, Focus has confirmed over 2 million players have played this game at launch. In fact, Space Marine 2 is the most played Warhammer video game of any type ever released on Steam, with around 225,000 peak concurrent players on Valve's platform. But there are no numbers or anything to compare to the success of this game and how well it's actually done. But what Willits did go on to mention is that Space Marine 2 is the fastest selling game he's ever worked on, and that includes the likes of Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein, and Rage. The interesting thing about Space Marine 2 as well is that it goes into, whilst it doesn't mention budgets or numbers, it tells you sort of the, the scale we're looking at here. So in terms of the budget for Space Marine 2, it was less than half of what Doom Eternal's budget was. Now, of course, this would suggest that because the game was sold at around $60 on Steam, $70 on console, that it's already very, very highly profitable. But anyway, let's just get straight on to some of the comments that Willis went on to mention. With Space Marine 2, it really does change everything. During our company party, I gave a little 30 second speech and told the whole team that this changes everything we do moving forward. From our small games like our third party publishing games to A Quiet Place launching next month. As more employees, and I know this firsthand, when you have a big hit, and you have that internet kind of popularity, there's more passion and there's more responsibility for the quality of work that you put out and do. And you look at yourself through a different lens. And sometimes that successful lens can be a little dangerous because then you get paranoid about making sure everything is great, that you overstress about things. But it's that success lens that really drives amazing games into the future. So I do believe that through the success lens that we have, we will make a far better product and products moving forward into the future. In practical terms, the success of Space Marine 2 means that Saber staff can now dream bigger, which is an interesting statement to be put out there. Saber will make good on its original launch plan, which involves new missions, new modes, enemies and weapons, but it will also make adjustments fueled by Space Marines 2 now confirmed success once the dust settles. 
There is now the possibility of story DLC. Well, it's confirmed that the idea is floating around for a potential Space Marine 3. Without spoiling the Space Marine 2 campaign, it strongly suggests a continuation. And given the success of the game, this is now a case of when and not if. Our game director, Dmitry Grigorenko, has now proposed some story ideas that could either be a DLC or a sequel. Will it said? We're literally just catching our breath. This is two weeks out. We just need to get the dust to settle. But I can confidently say that we will not disappoint our Warhammer fans in the future. It's too big of a success. I know that's an obvious thing to say, but hopefully we'll be working on Space Marine content for a long ass time. For Space Marine 3, well, it said Saber would need to work with Publishers Focus as well as Games Workshop once again. We just have to figure out. I would love to do it. Yes, he continued. Yes, yes, yes. There's so many different factions. There are so many other chapters too. Look, in short terms, to round everything up, Saber are working on adding new classes, which will be released for free, which will hopefully add a bit of variety to Space Marine gameplay. Willits wouldn't go into detail as to what classes were coming, but most fans are hopeful that, for example, a Chaplain or an Apothecary are coming as well, so we'll have to look out for that. But the post-launch plan, though, is informed by the continued success of the likes of World War Z, which has retained a loyal player base through the release of the new game and free classes in years after its launch. One of the reasons why we got 25 million people in World War Z is because every time we release a new DLC pack or a free class and we had a sale, people buy it. We literally see a spike, will it said. We put out a video promoting a new character pack, we see a spike in sales. So it just drives attention and drives awareness. There's always one guy that says, guys, come on, there's new stuff coming up. And then, okay, so three of the people are like, it's only five bucks, let's buy it. And so you get this kind of FOMO thing that goes on and it really helps. And we have so much success with that model. That's what we'll do. So that's pretty much the entire article summed up, going through it, reading the comments from Willits and what the new game new game or DLC is going to look like for Space Marine 2 moving forward. I'm looking forward to seeing where this sequel or this DLC is going to go, what direction that's going to go, what's going to happen to Titus, to Kalgar, Chaplin, with we now know his Leandros. So I'm excited to know what goes on there. But of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What would you prefer, a Space Marine 3 or Space Marine 2 continuous story DLC? I'm interested to know. But that's all for today's video, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and everything. If you have a better suggestion as to how you think this game should be taken forward, then of course link that down below as well. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.